what's up guys welcome back to my channel i'm angela terry if this is your first time here and welcome to the video i have a very exciting video today because i have everything well almost but that's not my fault ColourPop messed up my order i have everything from the ColourPop and avatar the last airbender collaboration the palette the liners uh the mirror the mask the lip products cheek products i have it all um except good hair that's what i don't have right now <laughs> so yeah i have this whole collection i try everything out i swatch everything and yeah i'm really excited to have this collection i love avatar i watched it too many times too many times so if you're interested in this collection if you love the avatar the last airman i also love the legend of Korra. But yeah, if you're interested in my thoughts and review on this collection, then you know the deal, you know the drill, and you know the vibes. Let's get it. Here I am. I put on my eyeshadow look. I put on lashes, of which there's sticking happening. Okay, so here's the box um stuff and since i already have the eyeshadow on we'll do it last that makes sense right let's finish up the rest of the face before i get into like everything everything else so we have the super shock cheek got glow i am missing like i said the other one which is deeper probably would have been better for me but this is the only one I got. They are sending out you know, this one and the eyeliner that was broken. Ooh, look how pretty. I have swatched it already. No, I think this is this is a deeper one. Oh, the texture. Lovely. Yeah, so this is the, the darker one. I have two other Super Shocks, Super Shock highlighters. And they are very, very nice, especially for, like, if you have a very creamy base on, very easy to put on. I usually use my finger, but they go on really nicely with the brush. So I'm going to take this on the highest of points with my finger. You see what that did? Just a little bit more concentrated. Because the brush is pretty loose and fluffy. So with a creamy texture like this, it doesn't pick up quite as much as your finger would or a sponge would. And this goggle color is a pretty like champagne. Not too deep, not too light. Beautiful, stunning. It reminds me of like a Ofra Rodeo Drive kind of color. So, love this. And I love the packaging. I think it's so cute. I wish I had the other one, even though it might be like a little bit too light for me. So, here's the Super Shock highlighter and got glow. I bought everything in a bundle. So, not sure the pricing of it. So the price of the Super Shock shot, not shadows, Super Shock cheek highlighters are twelve dollars each, which is pretty expensive. I don't remember them being like over eight dollars, but that's the price on these. Only thing left to put on are the lip stains. I'm pretty upset that they put Suki on a packaging and like on a thing before Sokka. That's kind of like weird to me, but whatever, I guess. So we have the Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stains in the shades Fanatic and Sealed with a Kiss. I mean, the packaging is absolutely stunning. And these are $9 each, which isn't too bad. I want to swatch both of these for you on my hands and on my lips so fanatic is more red 
and sealed with a kiss is more neutral-ish. So those are the lip stains swatched. These are my first lip stains from ColourPop. My first time trying these formulas out. So let's swatch on my lips. Sealed with a kiss. So ooh, that's a rough swatch. Very rough. Very, very rough. Um, the texture is nice. It's super, super liquidy. Ooh, it doesn't taste good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It feels very oily, like my tongue. I'm just going to wipe off my swatches before I stain too much. Um, it's so interesting, this texture and this formula. It doesn't really match my eye look, I must say, which is a flop on me. It goes on so liquidy, and then it starts settling in. It feels a lot more glossy, as it says. And it genuinely looks just like a glossy finish lipstick. And let's see what it looks like. Once so I take it off, kind of just gives me like a popsicle look. It doesn't taste good. Ooh, take chemically. All right, let's get into Fanatic. It's just like Doe Foot picks up a lot as well. I'm supposed to wear these with the lip liner and everything. Like, you know, it feels like water going onto the lip. Not the best application, but that is Fanatic. It looks a lot pinker and magenta on the lip than red. Like this looks so red. Am I wrong? It looks so red and it is not so red. It's like kind of nice, but like kind of weird at the same time. It looks so nice on the lip. This is the first time I'm looking at my lips up close. It looks like it's staining already. It's just kind of like too opaque right now. This might be something if you want that stained look, you put this on at the start of your makeup and then you let it sit and wipe it off. Let's see. I haven't had it on too long. But oh my God, like for an anime, like if you're e-girl or something, you, oh, it's stained. That's it. I'm saying it tastes terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh my god. I don't like that flavor whatsoever. But yeah, if you want that ego like stain in the center and then like concealer lips on the outside and then a gloss, like this is like the perfect thing. Just put it on in the middle. It's like kind of cute, you know, once it's all wiped off. I look like such flushed lips. I kind of like that. I might just put on one of the other lip products, like the, the chapstick, the lip balm, lip mask, whatever the heck. And, you know, leave it at that, like a glossy lip stain, but not too opaque, you know? So I like this one. I might try the other one like a little longer, see how the tint looks and how I like it compared. But for the full glossy lip stains, these are my favorite because they're the, the texture's so weird. They don't taste good at all. They taste nasty. Um, they smell fine, but they taste nasty. And it's it literally goes on like water. You feel like oh my god, that's too much product, and then it dries down to a. It's weird to say it dries down to a gloss, but it goes from water to gloss. It's so interesting. It leaves a beautiful tint, in my opinion. Does the tint match the eye? No. Not really. Why a tint? I don't know. I feel like it would... Oh, I guess it does make sense. Because the Kiyoshi Warriors, like, they have, like, more tinted lips. So, I guess it does make sense. And again, these are $9 each. If this is your thing, this is your thing. And, you know, it's your thing. It's not really my thing. Maybe once in a while, but... 
there goes that. So like I said, I am going to try out the Jasmine Tea Overnight Lip Mask with Uncle... Uncle Iroh, General Iroh. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I brain farted on that. So yeah, Jasmine Tea. I do have the ColourPop lip mask. But I don't use that often. But let's see this. Oh, we know, we The White Lotus. Well, oh, there was a little stop thing in there. Here it is. I had to sneeze. It doesn't really smell like jasmine tea. This one is like super goopy compared to the ColourPop, not the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls ones I have. This is definitely going to be a great overnight lip mask. Very hydrating on the lips. If you need a lip mask, these are like, a, did I say they're $12? They are pretty good. And if you like Avatar, then it's a cute thing in your collection that you actually use. I don't really smell jasmine tea. I don't really smell anything at all, really, but really nice formula. And this tastes good. So this is the Appa Compact Mirror, and this is 12 bucks. Really not a bad price at all for a compact mirror. Oh, that side is taped. <laughs> Oops. Struggle to open things. Let's look at it. It's so cute. I love Appa. He's so cute. And I love Momo, actually, as well. He's also cute. But look how cute this is. It's very compact. It's kind of just like the tiniest bit too small because it's like it's a little bit slippery. So you've got to be careful. open it says yep yep whenever my dog is like trying to get up on the bed i go up up and i go yep yep i literally do that even before this came out i tell my dog yep yep this is so cute and the top one is magnified this one is not i don't know what the magnification is probably says it online but No, thank you. I love this. It's so cute. I think I will put this in my purse. But the thing is so cute. What am I don't like with the packaging? Next, we have the Water and Earth Mask Kit. This is $22. Yeah, $22. It has a soak it up hydrating hyaluronic mask that you have that you leave on for five to ten minutes. And you have the big detox mud mask that you leave on for five to twenty minutes. I haven't tried any ColourPop masks, by the way. It's pretty cute packaging with Toph and Katara. Who do you like better? Who do you like better? I don't know. Katara is kind of annoying sometimes. But Toph is like also annoying sometimes. They're pretty small. Like, pretty, pretty small. You get a couple uses out of these. These are actually pretty great if you're traveling as well. You're not checking in a luggage or... These are actually pretty good for travel. Don't you think? Like if you're on the airplane and you want to do a little mask situation or, you know, do a little spa moment going on a friend trip with your girls or something and you want to bring masks to just try out while you're there, these are pretty cute. So this is the Soak It Up one with the Water Tribe. Hyaluronic acid is great for adding moisture back to the skin. So it's like cucumbers. Very nice spa moment. Yo. I'll definitely be trying these out. Why not? You know? I love that. This is a packaging I might not keep. I just felt some. Feels hydrating. And this is the mud detoxifying mask. To clear out your skin. Oi, this smells like charcoal. And like, dang, what is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are the ingredients? I'm smelling like 
pepper. It smells like pepper up in here. It's a strong smell. If you don't like strong scents, try to just give this one away to somebody. That's a really intense smell. I don't know how long that'll linger on the skin, but that's a lot. We have four cream gel liners, and these are let me get, these are eight dollars each, but they come in a bundle for twenty eight dollars, but you're saving four dollars if you get the bundle. Um, I will be honest, I wasn't like excited about all the colors. I mean, the colors make sense for you know the nation they're 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 resembling or part of. But, you know, just not my kind of colors. This is Aang in the Air Temple. What's it called? Blown Away. And it's a very, very metallic and light nude color. I wouldn't say it's, like, too pinky. It just looks silver, honestly. Interesting shade. I have it in my waterline, even though it's, like, kind of disappearing. I'm not the biggest fan of metallic eyeliners either, to be honest. If it's going in my waterline, especially not my fave. It's like kind of disappeared from my waterline, but I did put something darker up top. And I put this one because I couldn't put the brown one and you'll see why. I definitely would have used the brown one for this look especially and most often, but I couldn't use that. And it didn't make sense to use red or blue. So went with this one. I love the color of that tint. It's so cute. If I had like a no makeup, makeup look going on very like fresh face kind of kind of vibe it'd be so cute next we have zuko and this is called fiery fierce and he's the fire nation obviously and it's more so a burgundy metallic these are all metallic. i would have preferred an actual more red or more orange I feel like that would have been a lot more fun for this collection, but that's what we got. Next we have Katara. She's the water nation. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's from the Southern um, water tribe. And this is making waves, like a periwinkle blue. Again, metallic. This one seems just a bit patchy, but still a really, really pretty blue color. I don't know why I feel like I'm saying that weird. Um, really nice for spring. Last one is ta from the earth nation earth kingdom like i said and this is groundbreaker i was the most excited for this if i were to buy one and just one it would have been this one but then this happens literally when i opened it that's what happened um yeah so can I even, oh, I could just get a little, a little bit of a swatch right here. Very beautiful, rich brown metallic. It would have been great. We would have gotten along very much. I love brown eyeliner. I have a few of them, but can't use them. So they'll be sending me another one of these, hopefully. I'm really upset when I was broken. I really wanted to use that one. Yeah, those are the eyeliners. Super cute. I love the packaging on these. I'm keeping the packaging even if I don't use the eyeliners. I'm obsessed with it, even if it's like inconvenient. I love it. Love them. I wish there was Sokka in, in one of these things, honestly. That was upsetting, but I love it. So... Those are the eyeliners. Let's get into the star of the show. You know, the eyeshadow palette. Here we have the eyeshadow palette. This is $22. It's just called Avatar The Last Airbender Press Power Palette. Yeah. And by the way, the whole collection was literally every single thing. Um, Both the highlighters, even though I didn't get those. Uh, Everything, literally everything is $135. So I just went with that. Why not? You know? Why not? I figured I'd use, I'd use half of them at least, maybe. All right, so this is what it looks like here. Oh, well, Sokka's on here at the least, right? At the least. Sokka, Katara, Avatar, thing. 
uh, the Zuko and Toph. Here's the inside with Appa. The names are on the back and also like on the palette as well. It's broken up into the, the nations. So water, earth, fire, and air. Yes, ma'am. So here we have the water tribe first or the water nation. This is called Water Tribe. Next is Moon Spirit, one of my favorite episodes. It was such a beautiful episode. And this is Ice Shield. All right, next are the Earth Nation's colors. First is the Earth Kingdom. Next is Quicksand. And then this is Earth Rumble. All right, next is the Fire Nation. First is Fire Nation, obviously. Then we have Dancing Dragon. And last is Comet. Okay, last we have the Air Nation Air Temple. So this is Air Temple. This is Air Blast. And this is Vortex. The color story works perfectly to match the show. It's not like they're very vibrant in the show. It's not like they use extreme pops of blues. You know, it's very much what you see throughout throughout the show I think they did it perfectly and they don't even really wear like true red as you can see it's more burgundy it's deeper you know it's more onyx so I feel like through the packaging through the color stories even with uh the lip stains I think they really encapsulated the essence of Avatar I love this I give this in terms of aesthetic and all that a 10 out of 10 in terms of products themselves more so like a 7 out of 10 could have been better definitely that's the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed comment your favorite avatar characters or your favorite episodes favorite scenes uh and your favorite products from this collection and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button down below comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy i post all the time if you like me and you like this video, share it to a friend, one friend, all your friends, Instagram, Twitter. I like all my social media down below. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and hope to catch you in the next one.